Welcome back to Space Bard, Minecraft Exploration and Tactics with Brian. And we were continuing to the northwest, exploring for biomes. And since I recorded the previous episode, I asked people on Twitter to give me more questions so that I had more things to talk about. Who knows how long we'll be traveling? And I got a few more questions. And so I'll be talking about that. As a reminder, we are still trying to find some of the cold biomes that we need to eventually get the achievement. Ooh, there's some ocean over here too. I'm worried that I'm gonna be kind of like jetting out into a peninsula over here. Some of the cold biomes that we need in order to finally get the achievement for adventuring time, the achievement where you explore all the biomes and by all, of course the achievement means the 36 most common biomes or something like that. I think it might be 36, I've already forgotten now. Um, and horses are just awesome <laughs> for movement, unless there are trees around. Fortunately, there's no trees really anywhere in Minecraft. We shouldn't encounter any problems. <laughs> trees and water. Trees and water are the only things that can stop a horse. And I'm sure we won't see any of those on our journey anywhere. I will get off the horse and make a little bridge to start things off. And then we can get to questions. Hey, look at this. I'm bridging diagonally. <laughs> I wasn't doing that when I was building the sky rail. Um, and it is faster to place the blocks diagonally uh, than it is to place them kind of straight on. And yeah, someone pointed that out. And they were like, you're building the bridge too slow. Um, yeah, it's, it's not a race. It's just, just exploration, just enjoying the scenic vistas that one finds in Minecraft. Let's go ahead and get to those Twitter questions. I'm already rambling. AJ Lees. AJ, hey, how you doing? Long time no interact. Um, AJ asks, we ever get back into adventure maps? I miss watching the waking up streams on Twitch. I don't know if they're called adventure maps. I think they're like custom survival maps or whatever, things like vex maps and things. We seem to have reached an ocean over here. And so this is a real problem because I think I may have explored the entire continent uh, that we are on. I think we might have oceans on all sides. And so let's try going a little bit further to the west, but it looks like there is water over here. I am headed west, right? Uh, but I might take a pause after this question to try to decide what to do next, because I'm kind of at a loss. Um, I do plan to play some more of those maps the hard thing is picking a map that you think is going to be good, uh, because until you have played it, you don't know if it's going to be good. Uh, and so mostly I go based on kind of reputations of map makers, uh, as well as kind of overall length and difficulty ratings. I should take advantage of, uh, I'm friends with Ron Smalik, um, and in fact he was doing some kind of series this month. Uh, where I did like a tiny bit of voice work for. I don't know a whole lot about it. Uh, for those of you who don't know Ron, uh, he plays tons and tons of Minecraft maps uh, and kind of like rates them in different things. And he recently uh, rated one of the recent versions of Bingo and gave it a good score. Thank you, Ron. And, um, but yeah, he makes maps and he plays all kinds of maps. And so maybe I should check his lists in order to find some maps that I think would be good um, and kind of rely on his ratings. Um, but yeah, I was actually, I think by the time that this airs, I don't remember actually the order things are airing, um, but I will have announced in Chain World who my descendant is gonna be. It's actually going to be Rock, uh, Rock and Roll for Life, who is a Minecraft map maker and plays lots of Minecraft kind of like hostile survival maps on his channel. And I was thinking about possibly playing a map that he was creating, although I think that was like a number of months ago and I don't know if he ever finished the map that he was working on. Um, as like one of the possibilities that I was going to consider. I feel like I'm really getting stuck on a, on a peninsula that's just jutting out into ocean on two or three different sides here. It's also time to go to sleep. I'm going to sleep for the night. I'm going to take a break and I'm going to kind of figure out what I want to try to do next. And so I'll be back with you guys in a moment. I am back. I was just taking a look at the cartograph G map render 
that we showed a few episodes ago after we had our game crash uh, and lost some data. And yeah, it seems like other than kind of taking a different path back to the south, which will head back towards the spawn point, uh, it seems like the only other place that there might be to go that's on this continent where you can bring a horse along uh, would be back in the direction that we were exploring when the when the game crashed last time, which kind of makes me nervous. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do if we don't find any cold biomes back in this stretch. But we'll worry about that when the time comes to it. For now, we'll continue traveling back in that direction. And yeah, so I guess long story short, to answer your question, AJ, uh, I could definitely see myself potentially playing uh, some more of those maps in the future, but it's mostly a matter of finding a map that looks appealing to me and the right kind of difficulty and length. Um, and also having it come up kind of at the right time when I don't have other projects going on, such as when I come up with the idea for Spacebar and I'm like, ooh, that's the Minecraft series that I want to focus on first. Uh, or get invited to cool things like Chain World, which is the other thing that's been taking up my time recently. And yeah, like the two of them actually, uh, they both take a bit of time to record and edit. All right, but thank you for your question. And perhaps in the future, there'll be things to look forward to. Uh, and yeah, in general, like with Twitch, like I don't, you know, stream all that often, but occasionally I go through kind of phases where I do a lot of Twitch streaming. Uh, and so perhaps one of these days, another one of those phases will come along. Let's move on to the next question. Cecile, you guys know from Cecile, perhaps from a bingo video she did with me. Uh, Cecile asks, when are you going to make a Strangelands vid again? Uh, and yeah, I haven't made a video on Strangelands in a while. I've been a slacker. And um, yeah, I don't remember if I talked about it actually recently in Exploration and Tactics or in Chain World. Um, I think one of those I talked about it recently. Oh gosh, how do I get from here to there? I want to basically go back directly to the south to explore more parts of the world, but it looks like I'm going to have to make a bridge over here and then maybe over there too. Oh, sorry, horsey. I guess with the diamond arm armor, does that like protect the horses from fall damage as well? I don't know how horse armor works all that well, quite honestly. It's one of the game mechanics I have not studied in very much depth. I think maybe I will make a long bridge across here. Do I have enough blocks? Yeah, I've got like a stack and a half of half slabs. I think that'll work for us. So... Right, when we lost stuff in the game crash, I think maybe I had a lead. Um, I don't think that this horse will be able to escape, per se, if I leave him over here. Uh, don't go too far, horsey, okay? I'll be back soon. And let's go ahead and leave myself a half stab, half slab so I can get back up here. The horse is already walking away. <laughs> he sees his chance. He knows the score. He's getting out of here. Uh, hopefully he won't go too far. Yeah, I've made a Strange Land video in a while. Uh, it's mostly because, like I just said, uh, with Exploration and Tactics and Chain World, they've been taking up most of my time, especially knowing that I am going away to leave on vacation uh, pretty soon. Man, half slabs are a little bit harder to place. You've got less kind of area to get your cursor on exactly the right spot. And yes, yeah, so I just haven't had time with that. And of course, with the weekly bingo stuff uh, and even updating the bingo map recently to make Strangelands videos. But I do hope to get back to that. We've recently had some more people added to the Strangelands server. And so there's more going on there. And there's even more folks coming, coming soon yet. I understand. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And so, yeah, at some point I'll be making a Strangelands video. My expectation is that I won't make any Strangelands videos before I leave for my winter holiday, but then perhaps when I am in Florida and probably can't record videos, but will actually have a machine where I can play Minecraft, I might actually like log into the server and do some things, maybe do some pranks that other folks on the server can enjoy and explore. We will see. All right, the horse is trying to get away, but he hasn't managed to go too far. I guess this wasn't bad. If I brought a lot of blocks, maybe I could bridge across one of the oceans in order to take my horse along uh, is a possible thing that I might be able to do. Look at that. Right click down him from like four blocks below. All right, let's not accidentally fall in the ocean. Let's keep very still with the mouse cursor. Keep it on track, stay on target. Oh, there's still more bridging I have to do over here, darn it. <laughs> it never ends. And yes, so 
I'm sure there will be more Strangelands videos, uh, but it may be a little while. Thanks for your question, Cecile. And we just ran out of those blocks. I have full blocks. We'll start using them. Oh, I just used all my half slabs. I may actually need those later. Well, hopefully we'll be able to ride the horse all the way back. Let's not worry about it too much. And this is the way we want to go. Next question from Zedriador, Master Dennis. Uh, ask, why do you put a full stop after Doctor? Capital D, lowercase r. Um, and full stop, I believe, means period. I think that's like how you say it like in the UK and in the States we say period. The little dot, dr period, Dr. Brian. Um, yeah, I feel like that's how we do it in the States, I think, maybe. I don't know if it's maybe different in other English-speaking countries. Um, but I think that's like the proper way to do it here. I don't know. <laughs> kind of a weird question, but I suppose, yeah, it's probably just another one of those interesting small differences in different English dialects and in terms of like how we write things or pronounce things or different things. Uh, looks like there is land that goes across here, and so I will try to go across here. Sorry, horsey! And can I go across here as well? I think so. Yeah, this will work, hopefully. Oh, dark oak trees, too many leaves. Can I get across here? Let's go this way. Come on, you could do it, horsey! You could do it! The horse with no name. Because he may have replaced another horse. Who glitched out. In a horrible Minecraft glitch. All right, there we go. Good job. Uh, Arby Anders, Robbie Anderson asks, how did you come up with the idea for Space Bard? Loving the series. I'm glad you're loving it. I'm actually loving it too. And yeah, how did I come up with the idea for it? I tend to spend a lot of time kind of like brainstorming different ideas. Uh, ever since they, it was back in like the, 1.7 snapshots, so like over a year ago that like started adding this adventuring time achievement, I believe. Uh, I like exploring, obviously, exploration and tactics. Uh -huh. uh, and so when they had this achievement, I was like, oh, I definitely want to get that achievement at some point uh, and explore all the biomes. And I was really excited about the 1.7 terrain. And so I knew that that was something that I wanted to do. And I even tried to do it back in my 1.7 Exploration and Tactics series until I discovered that the achievement was broken and they added the achievement to the game and there was no way for anyone to ever obtain it because they had coded some bugs wrong in terms of the biomes that it was checking for, which I thought sucked. And then in 1.7, they had 10 other updates, 1.7.1, 1.7.2, 1.7.3, up to 1.7.10. Never fixed that bug. Thanks a lot, Mojang. Uh, but eventually 1.8 came around and they did actually fix the bug. And so I've been thinking about this achievement. And in the 1.8 snapshots, there was also, they added the world border. And I watched a little bit of Captive Minecraft, uh, which was kind of an interesting Minecraft custom map. We've got another pyramid over here. I'm not really stopping to check inside the pyramids. I will hit F3 so that we can see its position uh, on the coordinate system. But I don't really need the loot per se, uh, and it's just kind of a a bit of a grind for me to get down there and back up since I cannot jump or swim <laughs> in Space Bard. Got a little desert well right over here too. All right, coordinates are that. You can see that against the sky. It's got the most contrast and the colors behind, I think. Uh, oh, no, it's one pyramid. I thought it was two pyramids right next to each other for a minute. I don't know why I thought that. Um... Yeah, so I'd seen some of Captive Minecraft, and I thought it was interesting, the idea of having achievements expand the world border. Uh, but in Captive Minecraft, if you haven't seen anyone play those maps, uh, it was a custom map, and basically it started you like in a little one-by-one -one world border, and each achievement only uh, opened the world border up by one. And so by the end of the map, the map was like 40 blocks wide or something kind of thing. Um, and... Yeah, and so they had kind of like cheaty ways to get some of the achievements or whatever. And it was custom map, and it was extremely vertical and blah de blah, blah It was kind of a clever idea, uh, but I like exploration, and so I didn't like being in those types of tight boundaries. 
But I did like the idea of getting all the achievements. Uh, in previous exploration and tactics series, I've set up monuments, kind of similar to the monument that we have that spawn uh, in this one, and that you you know find in CTM maps or whatever. And yeah, I just in general think monuments are fun, to kind of like see your progress as you're going along and be working your way towards a goal. And so I was like, what if I put the achievements on a monument? And, but I was like, you know, I knew that, oops, I want to take the bed with me again. I knew that other folks have done series before where they try to get all of the achievements. And so I needed to come up with some kind of variation on that. And I had done a couple of speed challenges before where I didn't do jumping. And so I was aware of the fact that you could actually get a lot done without jumping. And yeah, after I had, after I had done speed challenges without jumping, imagine that Etho came up with some speed jump speed challenges uh, where you couldn't jump, or at least one of them. Uh, what was that one that he did? I remember I played it three times and I got a really good score on one of them. I think it was play record. I think it was basically the play record speed challenge um, without jumping. And yeah, because I'd previously done kill a ghast on my own just when I came up with the idea of remapping the jump key. And I think I'd done like one or two other things maybe without jumping in the past before. Oh, there's another Mesa over here. Or did I already pass zero? I've already passed zero. We've gone too far. Um, all right, home is back this way. Uh, that's the Mesa that we already explored pretty much when we explored the Mesa. I want to stop back at home uh, and yeah, really think hard about what I want to do in order to try to find any cold biomes uh, because if we do sail to another continent, we won't have a horse anymore. Uh, and if we bridge to another continent, that would take a long time. I guess that would be a reasonable thing to do if I wanted to bring one of my own horses. I could also sail to another continent and just bring some saddles and hope that I find some wild horses and kind of bridge around on half slabs until then. Oops, crap. Uh, can I get back on the horse? There we go. Great. And am I headed back to the east? Yes, great. Okay, I think we're headed back towards zero, zero. Yeah, it's only like a thousand blocks away this way. I just crossed the river and that seems like that was a dumb thing to do because it seems like that side is the side that is connected via land. Let's try to run across here. Yay, good job, horsey. You can like stay on the horse for like one or two seconds while they're in water that's more than one deep before all of a sudden like the horse kicks you off. I definitely have learned a lot more about horse riding in this series than I was expecting to. But we've got a lot of one deep water over here and so hopefully I'll get back onto the land. Um, yeah, so I was trying to come up with, you know, ways to make the getting all the achievements things different than things that other people had done. And I came up with the idea of not jumping, and I was like, a whole series of not jumping could actually be pretty interesting. Zisto had his Rules That Matter series, where he had different rules, like once you place a crafting table or a furnace or something, like you couldn't pick it up again, you had to like make a new one, uh, and different kinds of things that kind of forced you to place things in the world uh, kind of in weird ways, and you ended up with kind of like interesting looking builds and terrain and different things. And so I was thinking about that, yeah, for Space Bard, I was like, I'm going to have slabs everywhere uh, and ladders and different things. And so I thought that might look interesting. Uh, and definitely around our base, like we still have tons of slabs for just kind of walking around that whole kind of plains and swamp area that's over there. And yeah, I just continued to kind of like write down ideas and kind of riff on, riff on that idea and... Yeah, I came up with the idea. Then I was thinking about, you know, like the world border expansion kind of thing. And I was like, if I really wanted to get, you know, explore all the biomes, I was like, I'm going to have to have a huge world border by the end of it. And so I was like, rather than just expanding linearly, what if I had the world border double? And so I did some, you know, back of the envelope math and figured out how many achievements there were and also was looking at different kind of monument designs. And I was like, what if I do it three at a time and every three achievements it doubles? And that let me start out with a world border size that was kind of like just the right size to fit the monument in. And by the end of it would be big enough to find, hopefully, <laughs> all the biomes. And yeah, continued to refine the idea. And then I was trying to come up with a name for the series. And I don't know, it was in like a puzzly mood and I was doing like anagrams with Space Bard. 
because uh, I had that idea up there. And then in previous series, I'd done the thing where when I die, I make a donation to Farlands or Bust, and I realized that Space Bard could be like a pun on Space Bard, <laughs> as we did back in episode one. Um, yeah, and relate that to Kurt, and then I came up with some other silly things. and So yeah, it's an idea that evolves over time. Uh, this is not... Sometimes you have ideas that it's just like, you know, you have a flash of lightning insight or whatever, and you're like, aha, this is genius. And then other times it's something that, yeah, I remember seeing this, uh, something that happens over a long period of time. And so this is one that kind of like was an idea that evolved over a long period of time, uh, but ended up in, I think, a pretty cool place. How close are we to home? 400 blocks or so. And I am still, I need to go this way to get back to zero zero, it looks like. And, but yeah, I've been really happy with it. I think that this has been a fun series. It's definitely been something that I don't think anybody else has done. Um, I think I mentioned a few episodes ago, like I posted it on the Minecraft subreddit and uh, I got lots of upvotes. Uh, people liked the idea and I posted a few screenshots and yeah, has just made for a fun and interesting exploration and tactic series. Uh, my ex is still trying to get to zero and my Z is still trying to get to zero. I feel like I should be able to see home from here kind of worried that i don't i guess it's still this way yeah i guess there was a roofed forest out here i forgot where's the part that i burned down i guess it's probably further this way because i burned it down right around where z equals zero so if i head over here i might have an easier time with the horse to get back home but yes that was a long-winded answer uh but i think kind of like the full <laughs> correct answer to the question of how did I come up with the idea for Space Bard. So there you go. Um, yeah, I often write down kind of like notes and little ideas uh, on post-it notes that are scattered all over my desk. And after I think about ideas for sometimes days or weeks or months, sometimes it all just kind of comes together. And this one finally came together with something that I thought was really interesting. So thank you for that question. Since we are approaching home, I think I'll put a pause on the questions. And... <sighs> I'm really not sure what I'm going to do now to try to find these cold biomes. I have a decision. I have an important decision I need to make. Do I want to sail away without a horse? Uh, or do I want to go back into the scary place where our Minecraft crashed? That seems like it might be the only remaining land portion of this continent that is yet unexplored. Or what do I want to do? I'll think about it and see you guys in a bit. All right, looking back at the map, I realized to the northeast, there still is more place that there might be continent that we could go to. I'm going to grab some more slabs because they are super useful blocks. And I think I will also... Let me tidy up my inventory and then we'll keep moving. So we could take the sky rail, but I really want to go northeast rather than north. And also the sky rail is not particularly appropriate uh, for horseback riding. And so we will explore out this way. And yeah, once I find a good place to kind of get across, we will then make an eastward turn. Oops, oh, oh no, oh, oh. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> I ended up inside that tree. Uh, yeah, you can see where I was originally exploring and slabbing out and just talking about the crazy look of this world and terrain as a result of the no space bar restriction. Um, yeah, moving on to probably a time for one more Twitter question today. Cone Dodger, uh, you guys maybe know Cone, has done some bingo testing for me and uh, is a popular uh, <laughs> enjoyer of Minecraft bingo. Cone asks... Brian, how do you get through these trees? No, that's not what Cone asks. Cone asks, if you could own any non-traditional pet, and then has in parentheses dog slash cat. So I guess something that's not a dog or a cat. I have had cats in the past. I do like cats. My little YouTube and Twitter icon thing or whatever, like has the little kitty cat who says want. Um, and I enjoy cat pictures and memes on the internet. And yeah, I like cats. Um, but if you could have a non-traditional pet, what would it be? That's a good question. Um, hmm. 
I've heard a number of people say that pigs are very smart and can be interesting pets. So I suppose that would be a possibility. It seems like it's kind of like one of the things that's somewhat close to a dog. Um, let's see. I've had friends in the past who had like hedgehogs. Uh, yeah, like hedgehogs and hamsters and kind of like small rodent-y animals like that, I think are often popular little kid pets or whatever. Uh, and they're kind of cute, but not particularly interesting to interact with. Um, all right, we have some mountains over here. I think I need to go a little bit more east than north. Sorry, north than east. So I'm going to head a bit further to the north here and then try to change back to a northeastern kind of tack uh, and see if the continent continues over here. Um, yeah, and apart from that, then there's, you know, like big animals. Got people like Zuria who love horses. Um, Winter Ma, Ma, I think, has rabbits, bunnies. <laughs> um, and those are both animals. Pigs, yeah, everything's, an an everything's a Minecraft. Uh, animal, apparently. All the ones I'm giving any serious consideration to. I don't know that a horse is, like, so much of a pet as, like, a, I don't know, companion or a worker or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, I... Yeah, and I can imagine that there's stranger possible... Poss possible possibilities <laughs> uh, out there. But those are some that kind of spring to mind. I don't know. I think I'll say pig for the purpose of this answer. And Cohn also asks, related from my YouTube question, I think he was talking about, I was talking about going on holiday vacation and Cone Dodger lives in Florida uh, and is going to be at, I guess it's probably already happened by the time this airs, but there's the launch of the rocket with like the Delta Heavy or whatever that's happening in early December, I think, somewhere down at K Kennedy Space Center uh, that he was going to be going to. Um, but Cone asks, any big vacation plans? Uh, so I guess like while I'm down in Florida... And yeah, actually, I've not visited uh, the St. Augustine area um, since I think I went on like a field trip, like when I was a little kid, like, I don't know, when I was 10 years old or something to see something in St. Augustine, because it was a few hours away, kind of like from where I grew up. And since then, I've not been back to St. Augustine. So I plan to do a little trip out to the St. Augustine area while I'm in Florida. And, yeah, also going to be going to Orlando to see a show. And, but nothing, nothing that I would call big plans, per se. Not going to see rockets launched into outer space or anything crazy like that. Um, this is tough terrain, but I think actually we just made it through the roofed forest. Horse is going to, yeah, the diamond horse armor. I really think maybe it protects them from some fall damage because I've seen the horse take fall damage and make noises but not take any hearts of damage. Uh, so I should definitely like check out the wiki and see exactly how diamond heart horse armor works for horses. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't have any durability and so like once you have one, it just lasts forever. Uh, horses, unfortunately, do not always last forever. <laughs> As we know only too well. Yeah, like Kurt, it's like I'm, I'm not sure that I'm like ready to take care of a a pet though, especially in this game, especially if it's a Minecraft pet, because animals have a tendency to to not live long in this game. Uh, let's see. I think at this point uh, we have a couple of things to say. One is I'm seeing a little bit more glitching and stuttering in Minecraft, and so I think I have gone far enough to the northeast that we are getting out into new terrain that was previously unexplored, so that is good. Uh, but I also think it's the case that at this point I've probably recorded more than 25 minutes of me talking and babbling about different things as we try to find some cold biomes somewhere, anywhere in this world. Oh man, it just got really slow all of a sudden. Um, yeah, so maybe this is a good place for me to go ahead and call it an episode while my horse is going at like zero miles an hour here all of a sudden. Um, yeah, uh, ooh. Is that a jungle over there? Hold on. We have to at least get over this mountain. I'm going to recycle the recording and see if it speeds things up. All right. Fresh recording going. Horse is still not moving very fast. But there is indeed a jungle over here. So that's probably why my frame rate just went way down. 
Uh, jungles are always bad for frame rate. Uh, for reasons that I haven't fully explored, I think some of it has to do with the height. Uh, simply that the height map has like more things to do, uh, as well as the fact that possibly that there's leaves and vines and lots more kind of computation that goes on with that. I think it's mostly the rendering, because if you go underground in a jungle, uh, frame rate tends to go back up. So I think it's mostly in terms of like the ray tracing, like going up through the sky and having to go through those transparent blocks and different things, I think, maybe. Uh, and maybe something with a terrain generator related to jungles also maybe is more complicated as it tries to grow the trees, maybe. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I've been meaning, I've been thinking about doing like some kind of, let's see, do I want to go, let's try to go east around the jungle. I was thinking about trying to do some kind of like science series in creative where we try to like track down different sources of Minecraft lag. Uh, but of course it seems like Hazumavoid uh, recently was doing something along those lines. So maybe the, maybe that has already been done well by someone more popular than I. Um, but that's something that I'm always kind of curious about, mostly so that <laughs> I know what I can do to improve the frame rate in my videos. Because, yeah, at 60 frames per second upload and I'm only getting like 30 frames a second in the game. Makes that awesome new YouTube feature not all that valuable. All right, I said I was going to end this episode, so let's go ahead and call it here. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day. And I hope that in the future of Minecraft Exploration and Tactics Space Bard, I will be able to find the biomes that I am looking for. So wish me luck. And <laughs> I get, I was kind of trying to stretch it out, hoping that I would get above this mountain and then all of a sudden see one of the awesome biomes that we need in the, in the distance. Especially because there's a jungle here, and I've talked about in Bingo all the time, how it seems like jungles are often adjacent to cold biomes. But this jungle does not appear to be adjacent to any of the cold biomes that I seek, so no such luck. All right. I'll see you guys later. Hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.